Okay then, we're up to match day 11 in the Premier League and as always, I'm going to be trying my best to predict um, the outcome. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight uh, into it with um, a, a, a Friday night kickoff, which is kicking off tomorrow uh, with the rest of them being played on Saturdays and Sundays. So, right, Southampton against Aston Villa being the first match where Aston Villa come into this game uh, with four losses in a row, uh, with Southampton picking up some form uh, since um, them just going on a losing streak. Then they've uh, picked up a, a few draws, a few wins um, in their last few games. And, um, you know, I think Southampton... Uh, the, the the slowly some, the slowly picking up some form. Um, this is what Southampton do mainly every season. They either start it off really well and end up in first place at the start of the the season, and then drop down towards the end, or they start off rock bottom and then they slowly work their way up. Always a mid-table finish for Southampton every single season. Um, Southampton narrowly beating Watford before that. 2-2 uh, draw with Burnley, so they're getting the narrow results, but they're slowly getting the points, and Southampton um, are higher than Aston Villa uh, in this game, uh, with Southampton in 11 points, Aston Villa with 10 points, and, and Villa um, really getting, like, leaking quite a, a few goals in their, in their recent games, um, but I'm going to bank Aston Villa to, to bounce back from this uh, really poor run of form. Southampton, They've been a bit, uh, I don't really know the right words for it, but they're still getting the results, but very narrowly. So I think it's time for Villa to bounce back, get a result. Um, now, it's just whether or not that this is going to be a draw or whether I think Aston Villa will be able to bounce back completely and pick up the three points because out of these two teams, I would like to back Aston Villa, even though their run and their position in the league may say that they may not win and Southampton obviously being at home at St Mary's um, for this game maybe more people are going to be backing Southampton but I am going to back Aston Villa to get all three points away from home here end this run um, of defeats and get three points and yeah I'm going to go 2-1 Villa okay Moving on now to the Manchester derby. It is Man United versus Manchester City. Man City in third place, Man United in fifth place. It's going to be a brilliant game. Ronaldo uh, back at Man United. Well, we don't know if he nearly joined Man City, but rumours uh, were out there saying that he could be joining Man City instead of United. So it's, it's going to be a big game, this. It always is, but that just Ronaldo coming back to United just added to the, I don't know, again, what the right words for this, the, the bigness of this game's just got even bigger. Um, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, last time these two faced each other in the Man United, uh, in the Manchester derby, it ended in a very boring 0-0 draw. I think there's going to be goals in this game. Um, I know quite a few people are saying Man City is going to absolutely, um, absolutely thrash United, like Liverpool did um, last time they were at Old Trafford. Beating Tottenham 3 0. Tottenham got a new manager now. We'll, we'll come up to them uh, soon. That was their loss to Liverpool. The loss to Leicester. They've got a few disappointing results here, including like the loss to Aston Villa, which we've just spoken about above. Um, I'm going to back. I don't know with these derbies. It just, it just, with these derbies, it's just all of the form can be thrown out the window, and it's just literally this one game. It can be. The, worst side in, in the in the league facing the best side but if it's a derby like this the rivalry is just top class and um, anything can happen on this day so um, I'm going to go I'll go Manchester United 2 Manchester City 3 and I'm hoping that there's going to be a high scoring game in this one um, I, I'm going to say that. Okay, Brentford now against Norwich, who are still yet to pick up their first victory of the season. I thought they would do it against Leeds United last time out. They did end up losing 2-1. Um, 
So Norwich continue for their first win of the season. Same for Newcastle, uh, where Burnley did pick up their first win of the season last uh, week. Um, we'll come up to them, uh, them very shortly. But Brentford, gone on a bit of a losing streak themselves. Started off um, very well in the Premier League and still continued really with a, a good average run of form uh, as the season went on. But they are looking for a, a result soon. They're at, at home. This is a perfect opportunity to to stop their their, their losing run. And um, I'm going to say they'll pick up all three points uh, in this game against a very, uh, against a struggling Norwich uh, and um, Brentford are at home as well so definitely the fans are going to get behind the, the, the team here and I'll say a nice comfortable 2-0 victory to Brentford in this game Chelsea Burnley Chelsea top of the table um, 8 wins 1 draw 1 loss uh, just Chelsea's run of form is absolutely brilliant no no mercy 3-0 a 7-0. Very narrow to uh, to Brentford there. Um, but um, definitely scoring lots and lots and lots of goals um, in their matches. I'm going to go for another high scorer here. I'm going to go Chelsea 4, Burnley 0. I mean, they did get their first win of the season. Very, very, very good performance against Brentford there. And, you know, they've... Even though, like, yeah, two 0 lost to City, but Burnley. Maybe you expected Man City to put maybe four or five past them there. Got a two two draw with uh, uh, with some pretty. I mean, Norwich bottom of the table. Southampton were bottom of the like roughly bottom of the table at the time. Um, Leicester was a good result for Burnley, so Burnley can get the results. Um, probably not against um, a high flying Chelsea team like. Uh, like in this game so that's why I'm going to say it'll be a very easy win for for the London club in this game okay staying in London at Stelhurst Park got Crystal Palace coming up against Wolverhampton Wanderers um, both sides uh, going on a bit of a unbeaten run um, so do I think that that's going to continue for both sides and it'll end a draw or do I think a team can win this Wolverhampton Wanderers in seventh place at the moment with five wins um, in 10 games um, and a draw as well. Crystal Palace in 13th. Um, it's going to be a very good game. Crystal Palace has just beaten Man City 2-0 in their last game. Wolves beat Everton 2-1. They're doing really well. These are two clubs that I, I, I just knew, even though at the start of the season they weren't picking up the results that they were uh, needing. I could just sense something in the team that as I knew as the season went on, the team would pick up some results. And that is what they've done. And I mean, Wolves was right down at the bottom and they've climbed up to seventh place and they're right there fighting for Europa League or maybe Champions League, although they probably won't get Champions League. Uh, but if Wolves continue on how they're doing, then I don't put it past them to get up there in the top five. But for this game, I'm going to go Crystal Palace 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. It could be a draw, maybe... Probably a, maybe a better option to go for a draw, but I am going to go for a winner in this one and I would just back Crystal Palace uh, to get the win in this game. OK, Brighton against Newcastle, who still haven't, um, still haven't managed to pick up their first win. They've not managed to have the transfer market yet. Um, so, that, you know, in January, they'll be able to smack, uh, splash some of that cash and uh, get, get, start building a very good team. Uh, Brighton slipped down to 8th place after not managing to pick up a win in their last 5 games I think that run will end though and I do think I mean 2-2 very impressive uh, a game against uh, Liverpool there and Newcastle they're just str struggling really full stop they need their transfer window soon I'm going to go for a very narrow uh, uh, game here I'll go Brighton 1 Newcastle 0 ok so we've got um, Arsenal against Watford next. Um, Arsenal doing very well since their start of the season. Uh, Watford really continuing to be an average side. Sometimes they can smash Everton like that or then they could lose to Southampton like that. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll probably back Arsenal for this one. They have uh, picked up some really good results lately. Um, so I'll go... I'll go for a narrow game. I think I'll go 
2-1 in this one. I think some people may be expecting Arsenal to absolutely walk this game. Um, maybe pick up like a 5-0 result. But Watford, any Watford side could really turn up for this. So it may not be a thrashing. It may actually be a very good game um, with both sides um, doing really well. And then I'll just go for that narrow scoreline like that. Um, so that's what I'll go for. And then Everton against Tottenham. Tottenham struggling. Got the a new manager in, uh, Conte, the ex-Chelsea manager. Everton as well, getting a poor run of form as well. It'll be a very good game, this. Um, both teams really need a result. And I think there may be a winner in this one. I'll go... Everton nil, Tottenham one. I'm going to go for another very narrow um, result here. I'll just uh, edge it to Tottenham. New manager in. He's going to make some changes. He's going to get Harry Kane scoring again. I'll back Tottenham in this one. Leeds United next against Leicester City before we move on to the final game. Um, but again, these two sides, well, both probably should be doing better than they actually are doing. Leeds down there in 17th place. Leicester normally up there in second place uh, until the end of the season before they do drop off into fifth place normally. Um, but no, Leicester's mid-table uh, coming into this game where pretty even results in their last few matches. Two wins, two draws, three losses. Exactly what we've got on this side. Two wins, two draws, three losses. I'm going to go for a draw in this one. 2-2. Two, two. Um, I think Leicester will probably control the game for quite a lot of for, for quite a lot of the game. Um, they've just lost to Arsenal two 0 They'll want to bounce back. I'll say Leeds United will will set up a good a, a good team to counter whatever Leicester throw at them. So Leicester get a goal, Leeds get a goal, um, kind of game. And in the end, that that's I'll, I'll go for the draw. There could be a winner if there's going to be a winner. I'll probably back Leicester, but I'll go for a draw in this game. And then that. Finally, uh, finishes us off with West Ham doing superbly in fourth place, facing Liverpool. And even though you would back Liverpool in this game, last game they drew to Brighton, West Ham, very, very good side. I do think Liverpool will get the win in this one. I don't think it'll be an easy game for Liverpool, though. I was going to go for a draw, but I'm just going to back Liverpool in this game. And I'm going to go West Ham 1, Liverpool 2. OK, then, that is going to wrap up um, my Premier League predictions for match day 11. Um, thank you all for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Uh, so close to 6K. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.